It's Friday, September 15th, and it was a teary morning at NASA today as the Cassini spacecraft, launched nearly two decades ago to suss out the mysteries of Saturn, literally became one with the giant ringed planet as it plunged into the atmosphere in a fiery final swan dive of exploration. Out of fuel after billions of miles of travel without really any major mishaps or failures, Cassini's radio signal went silent at 7.55 a.m. Pacific time. NASA chose to end the Cassini mission this way to avoid potentially contaminating any of the icy moons of Saturn, which could possibly harbor life with any Earth-born microbes that may have hitched a ride on the plucky space probe. But before that final ride, Cassini gave researchers literally decades worth of data and discoveries to sift through from the mysteries of Saturn's amazing rings to the Huygens lander it left behind on the giant moon Titan. Cassini continued to do science right up to the end, sniffing the chemical makeup of Saturn's atmosphere and sending the data home even as it met its demise. Check out our coverage of Cassini at the link and of course at NASA's comprehensive website. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the war for your attention while online continues unabated, and the latest annoyance is the growing use of autoplay videos, something we can probably all agree that no one likes. Not only can the unexpected audio jar you out of a blissful silence, for mobile users it can eat up those precious data caps. Now, Google says they are going to do something about it. According to their Chromium blog, users will be better able to manage and block autoplay videos on both desktop and mobile browsers. Not only that, but you'll also be able to block the sites that surf up the things, which may be motivation for them to stop doing so. Google says the changes will hit in versions 63 and 64, so seeing as we're at version 61 right now, we hope to see those tools soon. It's Friday, of course, and that means movie night for a lot of people, us included, but rather than talk about the latest things to hit theaters, we've got a fun article on how well science fiction films have predicted the future. From 2001's rather terrifying prediction of AI behavior, to the touch computer in Minority Report, to Johnny Cab in Total Recall, there's been no shortage of hits and misses when it comes to Hollywood predicting the tech future. Check out our list of who got it right at the link, and maybe rewatch one of these classics tonight just for fun. That's it for DT Daily Today. We've got all the latest tech news at digitaltrends.com. More fun stuff on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to tune in to Between the Streams, our live entertainment podcast at 2 p.m. Pacific today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.